At Gunnison Valley Health, we believe mothers deserve the world. But while all mothers deserve more recognition than can be given in one day, each mother has a unique journey to motherhood. As the community's healthcare system, we recognize the importance of supporting all mothers in the Gunnison Valley. From prenatal classes for couples expecting their first little one to support groups for new parents, we're here for all mothers. I'm Lexi. Uh, I have a six-month-old son named Zachariah. I really didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, when I found out I was pregnant, I didn't really have anyone besides my parents. And so I went to the hospital, um, got a lot of resources that way, um, along with my mentor. Um, every question that I needed answered, they would know the answer, they would try to help me figure out the answer to that question. The biggest thing with the GBH staff in general is how respectful and supportive. The other thing was Charlotte, um, the doula. She, she was great. She, uh, after I had him, I didn't sleep for the, the first night. It was just crying, crying. I didn't have anyone else. And so like uh, with the third day he was born, I had a whole night just to sleep and it definitely helped my mental state. It was very nice to have people check in on me and make sure that I was okay mentally and physically and stuff, so. I'm Julia, Dakota's mom. Um, he made his grand entrance here about five weeks ago at Gunnison Valley Health. I thought it was really special being in a hospital and being the only person who was giving birth at the time and to have that one-on-one -on -one with all the nurses and really feeling like you're seen and cared for on an individual basis. The prenatal class was really grounding and definitely a good starting off point to figure out what specifically I wanted to research and read more of. Learning about mirror neurons and and having Kelsey there to explain in more detail what a lactation consultant can do for you, how many sessions you can have with her, especially if you have Medicaid. Something very specific with Dakota was he was born with a tongue tie. And so this is something that actually a lot of babies are born with where they have issues latching and breastfeeding. And this was something that Kelsey caught within like his first 48 hours. Like, at his 24-hour checkup, I believe, is where they realized that this is something he would need. So if it hadn't been for Kelsey noticing that and the resources we have here, specifically in Gunnison Valley, um, his whole experience as a person could have been different. My name is Gina Lambert. I am a mother of two. Uh, my first child was born still and my second child is a year and a half. As a mother, my experience here uh, delivering babies here has been amazing. Um, with my daughter, Ronnie, who was a stillborn, that was a completely different experience, but I felt completely supported by the staff here. They went above and beyond to make an uncomfortable situation as comfortable as possible. And they made sure that I was sent home with the resources I needed. They showed up to my house with additional resources when that was needed. I can't imagine going through that in the big city and just being another statistic. Whereas here, I felt a lot more supported and uh, recognized. One thing that the hospital did when we left without our baby, we were provided a box. And inside this box, there are some mementos to help us remember the time that we spent with Ronnie. We were given a locket of her hair, which was to this day is pretty amazing to have and remember. We, we have our clothing and some donated um, blankets and all the things that were part of our time with her, got put in this memory box and we could keep it forever. Um, the box also had her footprints on it that my mom and sister-in-law took those footprints and actually had it embroidered on a blanket. And while I was up in the middle of the night, 
feeding Fern when I brought her home from the hospital, I was able to use this blanket with Ronnie's footprints on it and kind of feel connected. Following Ronnie's birth, a lot of people didn't really know how to support us and kind of got lots of cards with money in it and we felt uncomfortable doing anything with this money for ourselves. So we decided that we were so supported by the com this community that we wanted to use that money to bring something to the community to help others in similar situations. So we commissioned a bench uh, that Jason Lakey designed and created, and it's at the north corner of Van Tile, um, next to the river. And this spot has been a really great healing spot for myself, my family, and hopefully for other people who have experienced loss. Years later, when I delivered my baby Fern here, um, it was an amazing experience. The crew just was completely supportive and Kelsey was my day shift nurse who helped get us ready to go home and made sure that we had everything we needed and and breastfeeding and all of all of the tips and tricks that they provided um, and now have expanded to the Mountain Mama Cafe, not only creating lactation consultants, but also having that um, community for moms because we all worry about the delivery of the baby, but we forget about the like bringing a baby home and all the all the struggles that come with that. So they've really created a program to look at the journey as a whole. And it's pretty amazing. From Gunnison Valley Health to all moms in the Valley, we appreciate you. We're here to support you on your unique journey in every stage and every step along the way because you deserve it.